What is up, Karatics? In this video, we're going to be customizing the 2012 Dodge Charger SRT8 in the Crew 2. Here it is right here. The price of this car is $280,000 in the Crew 2. And if you have the Gold Edition, you get the 20% discount, so it would cost you $224,000. So you'd save there about forty-five grand or so. Not really too much there, to be honest. But I mean, at least something. So, this is the uh, last year before the, uh, in 2015 was when the newer Charger uh, body style came out. So this is the uh, older gen. So back then they didn't have Hellcats. The most they had was a 6.4 liter Hemi, which this is, which is the same engine you see in the Scat Packs today. So, yeah. So it's, it's pretty much like an older Charger Scat Pack. It's pretty much what it is. I mean, I mean it's SRT though. So kind of like maybe like a Charger SRT 3ND2, but like with an older body style. Alrighty, so let's see what customization options we got here. So first we're going to go to the manufacturer colors. We have the red, the blue, silver, the white, the black, and then the uh, gray. So I personally like this car in black. I've always loved Chargers all black. I think they look really good like that. So we're going to go with that. Visual parts. So we got the hoods. Actually, what I'm going to do here, um, so that you guys can see the car a little better, so it's not so dark, I'll put it back to black at the end. So for now, I'm going to leave it red, and then I'll paint it black before we do the top speed runs and we drive it. So I'll paint the, do the black afterwards. So first hood we got here is the shaker hood, an oversized shaker, and it's way too big. And some heat extractors there, and then... Okay, so you got the intake with the heat extractor. So it looks a little bit like a Hellcat hood. Carbon shaker, carbon heat extractor, carbon Hellcat hood. Here you have a blower and this at the center of the stock hood. That's interesting. Here you have a Hellcat style hood with a blower inside of it. That's strange. Don't know how that would work, but okay. Here different style blower carbon stock carbon blower that okay alrighty so that's all the options there alright so I'm definitely gonna go with the Hellcat style hood I think that's really nice looks really good okay, so we have the front bumpers so this one changes the headlights and this one makes some carbon edges and then it makes one of them like an uh, air intake it gives you this strange style. It looks like a bug. I don't, I don't know. It looks weird. And this one gives you the... That's, okay, that's weird. So it gives you like the front grill from like a base model charger, like a V6. All carbon. And then it gives you a lower front splitter. That's interesting. That's different. Okay. And then here you have like a full painted stock one with the little canards on the sides so if you don't like all the black you can kinda get rid of all that which does look pretty clean, looks pretty decent this one we got the V6 front bumper again okay. and this one gives you like a lower splitter with the V6 front bumper Whoa. And this is a stock bumper with a bunch of stuff added to it. So you got like this large splitter, large canard, some extra fog lights, a tow hook, splitter, stabilizers. I mean, <laughs> that's a uh, very track focus there. Okay, and we got this one. This looks like a Mustang. <laughs> that looks weird. You got the fog lights there. Red style splitter. That's interesting. Whoa, and this one removes the lower intake of gr the grill. There's some crazy splitters here. That's very low to the ground as well. Okay. Alrighty. Well then, so I'm going to go with the clean look. See if we can find it here. Yeah, this one. I like this one. It's got little canners. I think they look okay. They don't look too bad. Nothing crazy. Not kind of small. Yeah, with the stock headlights, definitely. Okay, front fender. Yeah. 
Okay, more vents. I don't think you need more vents on this area. <laughs> a little bit too much. Okay. So we got the wheels. We got some manufacturer wheels here. Yep, that'll be there's five of them. So if you guys want to see all the 81 wheels, I'm gonna show it at this angle. So you guys can kind of see how it looks on the car all together. I'll put all the game wheels at the very end of the video. I do like these wheels. I love ever since I saw them, like the black and silver with the SRT logo, I think it just looks so good. So I'm gonna be keeping that there. Caliper color, definitely uh, like a red. Side mirrors. It's like a race car style mirror. Not a fan of that. Side skirts. What the heck is this? This is. Oh my god. With that piece there, think about it. You wouldn't be able to open the rear door. <laughs> it, it would hit that piece. Look at the angle. That is hilarious. You wouldn't even be able to open the rear doors. That is stupid. I don't know who thought of that. Oh gosh. Rear fender. What the heck is this? This is the like old 60s charger gas cap mounts it on the side. And then they add these vents up here. That looks so tacky. That is terrible. I don't know who thought of that. They should have mounted it like the old one. They should have done um they should have mounted it where that where the vent is pretty much. They should have put the gas cap where that vent is. I would have, I would have put that. They would have done that. It would have been cool. Oh, look at that. It does, like, it makes the rear mirrors. Look at that. Not the mirrors, the the rear glass, like some plastic or something. Like a race car. Okay, then. Anyways, moving on. So here you have the stock spoiler. And you have this, like, carbon ducktail. And you have this ricer-looking wing. This track wing, and then this one. Okay. I don't like the ducktail. The ducktail doesn't it just doesn't look good on chargers. I don't know. Like this particular ducktail looks strange. I'll throw it on there. Okay. Rear bumpers. So this one kind of like separates tail lights. Kind of like a Challenger, sort of. Like a, that's weird. What is this one? I didn't even see what this one does. Oh wow! Look at that. It puts the the uh, regular exhaust tips back from the like like the V6. I think the V6 has these exhaust tips, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it does. It does. This one gives you the nice quad tips. Looks very nice. Center tips, like rectangular ones. Okay. Okay. Whoa, like quad, and then it's like lowered a lot. That's way too low. That looks weird. What the heck? Oh, look at it. It gives you a little heat extractor from like the Hellcat of the modern one. Then it gives you these canards and these exhaust pipes that are bigger than my. That's, that's like bigger than a shoe. <laughs> you can literally throw a shoe in there. <laughs> what the heck is that? That's terrible. That's so bad. I don't know who thought of that. That's okay then. All right, I'm gonna do the quad ones. I think those look good. These right here. Didn't they have a carbon version of this? Never mind. Yeah, they they don't. Okay. So I'll do this one with the uh, the regular tail light. To be honest, I don't really like these. That just looks weird. Okay. Interior color. The options here. All right. So I'm gonna go with um, red stitching. I'm not gonna do well. Let me show you guys how it breaks up first. See how it starts getting rid of it little by little. So I'm just doing the red stitching. That's all I'm doing. I'm not doing anything crazy. It's just something very subtle. I think it looks really good interior materials so you can do the leather or the Alcantara well, look at that it makes the whole dash Alcantara I've never seen that before and it leaves the edges of a seat in leather still well, I'm not definitely gonna do that 
never seen that before. This one gives you the carbon fiber inserts there. The door handle, the trim on the door panel, the steering wheel, obviously the gauge cluster area where the radio is, the center console. Very cool. And the AC vent as well on the passenger side too. Okay, so you can do all that carbon fiber or you can do gloss black. I think the carbon fiber is a bit much for this car, it's just too much everywhere, it looks kind of tacky. So I'm going to do the uh, black, I think that looks a lot better. Okay, so now we're going to paint it black. Looks ten times better, definitely. I like it, it looks good. Maybe we'll like some black wheels to look a little better. But There we go. <laughs> That looks a lot better. Wow, complete change. Okay, so here we have the performance options. Oh, well, this car really needs to be lowered. So it's perf level 140 out of 280. It's 100% stock right now. Top speed of 174, 470 horsepower. Uh, let's see how it sounds. See how it drives. We're gonna do it. We're gonna max this out later on. Uh, we're gonna do a top speed run maxed out. Top speed run stock. All right. We did a good job of the way it sounds. Sounds pretty good. Yeah, the gauges look when we move. At high RPMs, it sounds really good. Now, as you might expect, this is a very heavy car. It's a sedan. It's not going to be some. Corvette, I can take these corners at ridiculous speeds, but it's pretty decent. And the brakes are, I might imagine, pretty bad because of how much this car weighs. A lot of momentum. Slow down all that weight. Alright, so this one's going to be stock. This run, I'm going to use the nitrous at the very end. Now, not so fear, this might seem slow, but we're going to max it out, and that should be an animal. So, let's see how it does stock. Seventy-five. Didn't really want to go any more than that. Alrighty. All right. Now let's max it out and see what it can do. Alright, guys. So just to show you what it is, one hundred percent stock. You can see here, twenty at a twenty perf level. Top speed up to two twenty-six. That's crazy. That's it was at one seventy-four, I believe, stock. That's an increase of. <laughs> like 50 miles an hour <laughs> that's a lot uh, power up to 842 horsepower now the Dodge Demon has 840 with the race gas and all that stuff so you pretty much have the same amount of horsepower as the Dodge Demon that's pretty crazy 0 to 62.9 quarter mile in about 10 seconds not too bad alright let's see how it does again I just want to mention that this car uh, your results might be different you can see I have some um, nitrous perks here and stuff and I also have icon points on some nitrous as well so your result that you get might be a little different because I use the nitrous at the very end to get us up to that top speed but anyways the result you get will be very similar anyways here we go fully maxed out Two twenty-five, not bad. 
Not bad at all. I really wish I can lower this car. It seems like it's too high. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the customization review of the uh, Charger SRT8 and the Crew 2. This car is definitely... I, I honestly don't think it's worth it, in my opinion. Unless you really like the Charger and you want to get it just to maybe just customize and mess around a little bit. That's pretty much all it's good for because the handling and the braking are very poor because of how much this car weighs. It just... The power is not that great. I mean, it's maxed out and it's still not that fast, to be honest. I mean, you gotta remember, they got the Huracan in this class, the F12, the R35 GTR. I mean, there's those, this car can't compete with those cars no matter how, how much horsepower it has. Right, guys, well, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Like you, be strong to hold the powers of the sun.